can you break down a day for for us? Like yeah, you do? Um, they're there. They're all the same. Okay. <laughs> I want to hear. This is sounds. Fun. I'm up. I'm up at about six thirty. Yeah. Um, I take care of the dog, get him out, and that, for that first hour or so, um, I have one cup of coffee with uh, uh, cocoa powder in it and um, uh, moringa, maca, maca powder. Put oh, some yeah. of that in there. Yeah. And uh, that, that's my cup of coffee that I have, and probably about 12 ounces or so. And then uh, usually one hard boiled egg, one small bowl of Rice Krispies or uh, non sweetened cereal. Uh-huh. And um, load up the cooler, put it in the car, and then uh, make sure the dog's okay. And then that whole process takes about an hour and a half, two hours. I get my first plank done here at the house, do about 30 minutes minimum, and um, that gets me loosened up. And then I pack the car, and I'm out the door by probably 9 o'clock. And if I have a client that day, I go train them at, at 9. And then I stay up there at what I call the prairie. It's where I hang out beautiful place peaceful lush it's nice and um and this is in i stay up there illinois this is yeah in in naperville naperville illinois suburb of chicago yeah and um that's where i go and i spend all day up there i knock out all um all all 2000 crunches uh, sit-ups that i gotta do various formations all the leg lifts i gotta do um about 2000 of those then i start the push-up routine and uh i'm about 2200 into it today i need I'll get the rest this afternoon. Wow. And I do another plank up there about 30 minutes. I'm only doing about two hours of plank time a day. Now really? I used, to, I used to do four to six wow. hours a day, but not anymore. That those, those days are done. I don't miss it that much, but I like, yeah. I like to stay engaged. The focus is different now. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and then I, uh, I'll, I'll take a break at about one o'clock, go get coffee at the gas station mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, um, have a snack using oranges or something that I have in the cooler. Yeah. And always drinking water and um, take about a 20 minute nap on my back. And if the sun's out, that's even better. Then I get back into it again. And uh, wow. yeah. And then and and wrap up until what time? I, about five in the afternoon, six o'clock in, in the evening. I, I'll do that last bit of cardio. I've switched the cardio to the, to the evenings because it was too, too darn hot. Yeah. And it was burning my back, especially because I'm dropping for push ups about every 45 seconds. And that, that, that was, too brutal. So now I go more in the evening and I have people that meet me up there and groups and stuff of people that, you know, have a lot of respect for what I do. And, um, they like to watch me. It sounds like you don't eat sugar. Is that true? I've cut that back. I'm not, not as much as I should have. Um, it's, I've been, <laughs> I've been kind of locked down here for a while, but so I start buying junk that I shouldn't buy, yeah. but, uh, I have, I do have a sweet tooth, but yeah, I try well, to watch is, that sugar. It's heartening to know that you do have a sweet oh. tooth and sometimes oh my gosh i just made a whole pan of brownies the other day <laughs> okay and they're, they're gone in 48 hours <laughs> okay well that's good to know because i mean it's I was like wow there's nothing wrong with that but i i, I rationalize because because i can i can burn that off and quite yeah. frankly joe i need the calories yeah you need it right i need the calories yeah absolutely yeah i know that they have the world's strongest man competition or the world's strongest person there's like a competition where they do all these different things in yeah a, in a big arena and there's like the there's a movie about one of the people that wins it a lot. And uh, he, this guy just eats any, anything he wants because he works out so much. He's like eating yeah. pizzas and all. It's a terrible advertisement for, for those of us that don't work out all day and all night. Yeah. Um, Cause he's like, Oh yeah, you can eat whatever you want. Yeah, you can. <laughs> right. You've heard that. I've heard people say that. And, and yeah. I, I, but I don't take that for granted. I mean, you gotta be very careful. Yeah. Because sugar is very addicting. It's like crack. I mean, it, it can be yeah. very addicting and you get a bad habit. We've been, addic- we've been addicted to sugar since birth. Yeah. It's do bizarre. You, do you, well, they, they basically sold it to us when we were little kids yeah. um, with, alongside cartoons. Yeah. So Remember? Addicted. Yeah, totally. And it's, it's very, very specific. Um, so you're saying that you can keep going. You think... Like, have you had any health issues or anything? Or do you think because you th- this regimen that your your body is just? I think strong? this regimen keeps me healthy and fit. I keep it simple, and that's what I impart to clients. That's why they gravitate to my way of doing business because it, it's they want to do the stuff I do. Yeah, they they want to do the certain combination drills that nobody else can do because they don't have the muscular endurance. They may look like they can do them. But when I put my money on the table and say, drop down, let's see what you, if you can do this drill, it's only three minutes of your time, you know, yeah. just, and, and they can't make it, you know, 
it's, I know it, when we went on to tell the truth, I was pretty scared that no one would be would believe that I could do a plank for 10 hours. And I was like, okay, let's see how long I can do. And I mean, I, I did like two minutes. I have to like work on this. Finally, I realized I'm going to have to go a completely different way with this thing. I decided I'd be like a yogi type person. And then yeah. when I saw you, I was like, oh my God. George Lopez picked me though. So that's good. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. And that was hilarious oh. because you uh, planked them for the rest of the episode. That, and that was cool to be able to uh, engage with the audience. And, and that was an idea I suggested to the producer uh, when she was you know, bringing me aboard. And I said, you know, why, why don't you try this? You know, they liked it. And they're not the only one. There, there are others. Uh, that have, they were really cool, they, though. The producers are really cool. Absolutely. Like I said to them, OK, I'm going to face dance on um, the, the whatever podium that was out there. And yeah. they were like, cool, go for it. And I said, do you think it's going to break? And they were like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. They probably yeah. were hoping it might. <laughs> that could be fun. That was uh, a tremendous experience. That really was. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, wasn't that fun? That was super fun. Um, yeah. I, okay, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. But do you have any, um, like a website or something where you train people or do you have any kind of... Uh, no, I'm, people that want to train with me know how to get a hold of me. It's, like anything, else. It's, it's, like, it's like anything else you really want, right? Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it, it, I, I work with those people who some are inspired to want to reach out and set goals, you know, and, yeah. and maybe achieve a world record. I'm working with a girl in the Philippines right now who's probably next in line to set the women's record. Really? Um, yeah. And so I, I, people follow me on Instagram. That seems to be my platform of choice right now. Okay. Which, um, is there on Facebook, you know, it's yeah. Yeah, hood, hood four, six, six, three. They'll, they'll find me. It's okay. a public page. Yeah. You're um, easy to find. Yeah. But it's, uh, uh, the people just need to stay inspired. D don't give up hope as crappy as one's life might seem at times, it's really not. And I just encourage people to get up every day and, and you, you yourself are the gold mine. And just, just, just dig every day for one more nugget because it's down there. It is. Just dig, dig. And, that's, and what I it, try to, that's what I say about my show. I try to make it 1% better. Yeah, that's all you got to do. 1% better. That's all. And I try. And that's, Sometimes I fail. Sometimes that's okay, worse. But, but you try, yeah. yeah. But you're trying, and, and at the end of the day, you know, everything comes into alignment, and um, we're all blessed with talents and, and good things, and uh, uh, no, nobody's gonna let us down. And uh, yeah. you, you're responsible for that, and uh, and people just need to have hope and stay inspired and stay well and, and stay fit. I'm always out there to help, they know how to get a hold of me.